so if we take a really common one, say spiders, it will trigger anxiety, which of course makes people run. The faults in here, now of course everyone have different ones, so it, it might just be that, you know, that it's going to get me, you know, maybe get on my skin, you know, or get inside my clothes. I had one person, they had a, a random fear that it was going to get inside their mouth and lay eggs on their tongue and then loads of baby spiders were going to come out of their mouth. So if we just take that, it's just, and then with that, I think that really basic terms, anxiety is just the idea that something bad is going to happen and I won't cope. So that triggers anxiety, so your anxiety will shoot up. Well, so the, the most extreme spider phobic I had, she ended up having to sell her house, move to the 20th floor of a tower block because spiders don't go up very high. Then she had to sell her tape, all the windows up, had to have the plugs blocked all the time. And then certain months of the year when spiders are around, she wouldn't go out. And so even spider phobic can be really extreme. Follow this cycle round is okay, triggers anxiety when you run, of course, that brings the anxiety down. But spider phobic or any phobia, also the radar is then switched on looking for any signs of what they're scared of, whether it's spiders, dogs, or illness. And of course, if you look for this stuff, you'll find it and you get triggered off again, so you run again, and so that fear then keeps going. And it'll never so, know, it'll just keep going. It'll just keep going like that unless you turn around and deal with it. So then, of course, what you do is say someone's scared of spiders, you sit them in front of a spider. Their fear will go up, but it will then gradually drop. May, two reasons. One, your brain notices nothing bad happens. And the other reason, your brain notices you're not running anymore. You've stopped escaping from it. What we had to start with was just the letter S on a piece of paper. That was enough to scare her. Then a, like a sort of cartoon spider and then gradually up to photos and videos and then real spiders. So there's lots of steps. So eventually we got her to be able to hold, you know, sort of big house spiders. It's very, very treatable. You know, if someone's willing to go through the pain because it's, it's hard work doing it because you're having to face something that terrifies you. So people will get really anxious or even, you know, get tearful doing it gradually reprogram your brain to stop being scared of them and so you end up having to live in this sort of tiny little space and it backs you further and further into a corner of course you get rid of the fear you know that opens right the way out also you get your life back basically